Now, I think before too long, Junior kind of calms down and realized this is not going to work. This is not, like, a thing. Making money this way is just not a thing that's going to happen. So he went back home, got his grief out, and uh, kind of stepped down as the, the Donkey Kong. Because he, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to run the family. He doesn't want to be the head of this crime syndicate. It's, that's not where his interests lie. It's not what he wants to do with his life. So presumably at this point, he passed it down to his son, uh, who we know as the modern Donkey Kong, who is the uh, the playable character in this game, Donkey the, Kong Country. The protagonist Country. of Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, the, the one who wears the tie. That's the modern Donkey Kong, is Junior's son. Mm -hmm. By the way, another sticker pack. Mm -hmm. Randomly over here. So, our tie-wearing protagonist, modern protagonist, was given the head of the title Donkey Kong to, to be the head of the family. While Junior went off, I think this is actually the time around when Junior starts to be uh, a diplomat. Because, um, after this, like, the next things that Junior does are, like, doing stuff in the Mushroom Kingdom. Hmm. Like, he competed in the first uh, Mushroom Kingdom Grand Prix race event, the, the go-kart race. All right, Super Mario Kart. And then he did a tennis tournament. So yeah, at, at, at this point, Junior is kind of just like stepped back and... Oh no, wait, no, the, the, the tennis tournament was later. No, yeah. okay, the, the only thing that we see Junior in is the, the Grand Prix race. So I, I think this is when he's in the Mushroom Kingdom trying to build, or starting to build relations with them uh, in a, a diplomatic capacity. The next thing that we know about for the Kongs is when original Donkey Kong comes back from space. Mm -hmm. He is now old Cranky Kong, and he is delusional, and he's shouting about things like graphics and gameplay, and nobody knows what the hell he's talking about, and they're all concerned. Uh, his grandson, most of all, is very concerned because he idolizes his, his grandfather. You know, he's, he's kind of... That, that's, that's the sort of family head that he wants to be. And so he's... Our, our modern Donkey Kong... Contemporary decides, Kong. Contemporary Kong. <laughs> decides that... He's got to do something to help his grandfather come back to his senses. Except he's not very bright. So his idea was, let's recreate that big adventure that I, I heard that he did in New York. Where he kidnapped this woman. That was the thing that, that he did, just kidnap this woman, right? That was the important thing. I'm going to go kidnap this woman. So Donkey Kong goes to New York, kidnaps Pauline... And, uh, climbs the exact same construction site, which was never, uh, finished or demolished or anything. And Mario shows up again to, to fight. Except this time, Do Donkey Kong, this Donkey Kong doesn't stop at being dropped off of a building. He takes Pauline off into the woods... Off onto a, uh, a merchant, or some kind of ship that he has chartered. Uh -huh. Out to a desert? Through some desert ruins. Onto a mercenary airship uh -huh. that he has uh, hired out. Into the Antarctic? Possibly the Arctic. I, I, no, it was the Arctic. Into the Arctic. To, uh, through... So, the, there is a, a gateway somewhere in the Arctic between Earth and the Mushroom World. Because then they get to because the Kong After Isles. that point, they get to the, the Kong Isles. Along the way, Junior is helping out also. Junior gets involved in this chicanery. Mm -hmm. This absurd adventure that they're going on. This scheme. And it's, it's just kind of... 
screwing with Mario, flipping Most levers, pulling levers and, yeah. and throwing uh, shrinky mushrooms around, and just kind of, he's just having fun. He's just, just hanging around. And, uh, this, this is a bonus game happening. Yes. Where it's, Diddy it's, is getting very game. angry at his hat. He's not stopping his hat. He's just throwing it on the ground, looking at it very angrily. I don't understand this bonus challenge thing. There is zero penalty for failure. <laughs> you fail it, you just pick kicks back to the the map. You but go right like back in, game. you try it again. It's like a game. It's very game-like. So they, they get back to the Kong Isles through the gate in the Arctic. And... Then there's a giant tower that Donkey Kong had built with his face on it. Mm -hmm. That he he climbs up, Mario defeats him, and they have this big showdown. And and then he eats an entire crate of super mushrooms and becomes enormous. And they fight some more, and Mario defeats him. And then that's that's the end of that adventure. And, Mario and our modern tie-wearing Donkey Kong reconcile to some degree. They become kind of friends at that point, apparently. Well, presumably Mario, like, accepts his part in, uh, what happened to who, uh, what is now Cranky Kong. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Mario's super villainy, putting him in a cage, he did probably had some part in that. That uh, he's, he feels bad about it, so. I mean, it, it led the elderly Cranky Kong to want to seek a uh, alliance with spacefaring insects? What? Because there were the insects, but they were also in space. Oh, right, that. Yeah, so that, that was... That was just some weird shit that Mario probably caused, in <laughs> some degree. At least that's what he thought. So, he felt bad about it. He decided to forgive Donkey Kong for kidnapping a woman and hauling her across multiple worlds. Mm -hmm. She was not very happy about this turn of events. No. But, uh, that's, that's how everything uh, ends up there. And in, in the end, possibly with Mario's help, Cranky comes back to his senses somewhat. He still talks about, like, weird graphics and how the gameplay isn't what it used to be and strange things like that, but it's not all that he says. He's he's also just an angry old coot, and they're, they're willing to accept that. Now, the problem here is that this whole escapade cost a hell of a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Building this tower, hiring out mercenaries to, to haul him between worlds around, running all over the place. This was fucking expensive. And in order to pay for it, Donkey Kong did something stupid. He rented out space on the Kong Isles to the family's age-old enemies, the Kremlings. Mm. Who started, you know, building industrial factories on the islands and uh, having a base of operations there. And wouldn't you know it, before long, the Kremlings get together and they steal the Kong's banana hoard. The remaining funds that they have. Because Diddy was supposed to be on watch, and he was on watch, but he's Diddy. He's not a gorilla. He's mm -hmm. a spider monkey. He's a little dude, and... He's hardly a Kong, to be honest. Yeah, he's, he's sort of new at this whole thing. Diddy is Donkey's little buddy that... Honestly, this is kind of a, a nepotism thing going on. Mm -hmm. Where Donkey Kong just kind of is giving this important guarding job to his little buddy. Who isn't really, like, an active part of the Kong family yet. I'm pretty, Like, this is supposed to be his initiation, I think. Mm. Into the family is, is, you know, doing this, uh, this job. But, uh... He's not good at fighting and not being captured because he gets captured. And put into a barrel. And shoved into a barrel and all of the bananas get stolen because Donkey Kong is asleep while Diddy's on watch. 
So that is what is happening in the current game here. Is Donkey found Diddy and realized the bananas are gone. And so they're going off to, to find all of their, their bananas again. And when you say current game, you mean for the Super Nintendo. Yes. <laughs> the one that was the original version that was better than this one. But it's the same story as this one because it's the same game but worse. Yeah. But it's got new features. It does have new features. You can't get better sounds and graphics than the Game & Watch. But this section wasted half the memory already. Uh... 